are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Kyle, my brother. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, good, man. Thank you for fucking coming to the doing the pod, dude. We're doing the we're doing a late pod. We usually do we usually do it during the day, but we decided to. We were just like, you know what? Let's not rush into things. No. You know what I mean? Let's chill. Okay. How you doing, brother? Pretty good. Good. Just grinding today at the just, fucking truck. Yeah, grinding. Cheers, man. Smoking some meat. And... Hell yeah, good to see you. Smoking some meat. Yeah. So for people that don't know who you are, you are Kyle Stallings, the Kyle Stallings, the humble, the humble Kyle Stallings, the barbecue aficionado. You, uh, I feel like I wanted to have you on here for a lot of the reasons. One reason just because we're homies and just to vibe and hang out and chill and talk shit. But uh, also, dude, I don't, I don't feel like you get an, you get the love that I that I wish I wish Rolling Smoke got the got that love, baby. Oh. And so I'm here to, you know, I, I'm, you know, we're just a small little podcast getting started here, really. But I had to get you on just to talk to you and just hopefully, if I could send 10, 20 people over to fucking roll and smoke, dude, you know what I mean? Then, then it's worth it. You yeah, know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Absolutely, man. Yeah. So how did you, uh, how did you get into like doing barbecue shit? Like, did you, did you always know you were going to be doing restaurant stuff or no, like, Oh, I definitely, uh, just kind of fell into restaurant stuff by necessity for a large part of my life and okay. just, I don't know I just kind of enjoyed uh making quick you know serving money and stuff like that yeah I yeah went to Alamo Draft House for I got stuck there for probably like five years and oh, it's a really shit. easy job and pretty good money Alamo and, you know. I haven't really been to one of those is that the movie theater yeah it's a okay. the movie theater and then back you know a while back when that was you know 15 years ago it was it was a pretty good place to work. Uh, really chill, really easy, and good yeah. money, and just you know, kind of fun. So, I got I got stuck working there for a while, and then I ended up. Uh, yeah, how did you get like? Cause so you, I've heard things from from through the grapevine. So you took over Rolling Smoke, like yeah, it's not you much. didn't you didn't like start the exactly, the yeah. brand and the food truck, right? No. Okay. Um, I mean, I've done pretty much all the branding and stuff that you see now, but right. the name we just kind of stuck with that because it's. We liked it. Um, yeah. But I like the little subtle stoner reference. Yeah, do you want to smoke? I got. There's a lot. Do you want to smoke? There's a lot. Can of, we smoke? I'm, Are you cool with it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's do I it. This oh, let's do that. You want. Um, this man brought us a J. How about yeah. that? Yeah. So. That's awesome. So you did you like acquire the truck? Tell me the yeah, whole break uh, it down for me real quick. A couple of friends of mine had started it. Um, I was living in California for a while. Um, moved out there. Speaking of. Uh, stoner stuff uh so <laughs> yeah what were you doing out there yeah the, you know what anyone does out there <laughs> <laughs> what growing growing, growing and, fucking and going, doing, the, yeah, doing doing the thing doing the thing doing the yeah. thing so oh, yeah. came back and uh just didn't really know what i was doing i was kind of working with my friend's construction company uh and then you know a, friend, a couple of friends had this food truck going and i ended up starting just working there on the weekends a little bit enjoying it kind of just caught yeah. the bug and really is that how you knew obsessed with barbecue yeah. just tried to make it better and tried to uh make it you know some a thing so yeah so so did, so when did you so you went from working there to owning the place yeah yeah i mean so that's kind of crazy to deal with uh my partner and it's okay. just like he didn't want neither one of them wanted to after a while of, of seeing how it you know what it kind of takes to to run a food truck they you know, rather not do you know <laughs> right they just want because they wanted every, to make money is what i always say so, right you know they went and did something else and just, everybody like, always thinks you're gonna i'm gonna put the open the restaurant and then i don't have to work anymore yeah and that's like it. there's a, there, there's a lot of those to do it for you and i'm like that yeah, doesn't really work so well because then the consistency and the fucking product gets all fucked and up yeah if you don't you know yeah care then it's gonna be you know. yeah dude you guys don't you guys don't get the you know the the love that you did that the food you're making out of there is crazy bro i mean you guys are making good love now no you get you get good like, love but. of like what we how long we've been doing it and now like a, a few years where we didn't but i feel like now as of today we're feeling it like people are good i love people hearing that. know about it and people like it's it's you know you guys have your own little niche crew it's known you know yeah. and we have our own customers who've been going you know been going for a while i know you so. don't care about the list but like i feel like to like okay I'm, to not to not make to not to not put rolling smoke in the top 10 i guess i could see you know what there's a lot of really good barbecue spots in the whole state whatever but to to not put them in the top 50 and i'm not calling out daniel vaughn here i'm just saying 
some somebody fucked up because you guys should have at least been in the fifty. You know what well, I mean? And I, mean, I think this year it's coming for let's, sure. Let's talk about that. I mean, let's do I, it. Say, I mean, I'm not. How do you feel about that shit? It would be, you know, you'd be a liar if you said you didn't care about it. Obviously, it's something that you would love to happen for your business, and yeah, it's a, uh, it's a big deal. It's um, I don't, I didn't feel like we were gonna make it that this this list. Like I don't feel like he had come by and gotten our best product. I I wasn't expecting it. What I would, yeah. what I did think was kind of ridiculous was like the honorable mention section of that thing not being included i don't know in anything that. about that well there was an honorable mention section and we you know we weren't included in that so <laughs> in another place that was like super uh wait so it's like not anywhere near on on the level is on there <laughs> so and it's kind of i don't know it's like we don't put you on the list but we're gonna put you on the we didn't put you on the list but you're still pretty good well they list, and they style, didn't even put you, know, you on they that. took like style switch who i feel like is one of my favorite places yeah just super Shout high out level styles and switch. uh they my took them off uh the list and, and then and moved them to honorable mention wait what yeah you can get yeah. taken off you can so you have to keep your shit together the whole four years or you can get you can I get mean, taken off it's like when they come back this. by when they come back by and you know whoever whatever they have like three or a couple different judges or whatever uh -huh. come by and check your shit out if you're not hitting that day like you could be off like it, it, you know it's happened to, to regals in houston it's happened you know Damn. it's happened to uh, but you know what? Sausage. The list doesn't make the man, and the list don't make, the make, list don't make the sh the food. It don't make nothing. And it doesn't make shit really when you're looking at Style Switch and how successful they are. Like, yeah, they're crushing. They don't need the list. Yeah, many locations and just you know. It is interesting though. It is interesting how it's like so much nowadays kind of rests on this like superficial kind of like not not to say i mean the list is probably the least superficial of the things right like of the like best bars to go to you know oh what i mean God. like the, it's, yeah, like it's it's, it's it's the most thought out though like yeah. i was talking to no, sawyer it's a, about it's this. a hard it's, job and it's like yeah. I, I definitely respect it and like i know that it's it's geographical as well you know and it's it's well you know and i think there's this other thing too and there's a lot of other things. I, I have a i have a conspiracy a, 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 a hypothesis that i think they can't all. They can't give them all to Austin. Yeah, you know, there's no, like this thing, right? They want to spread it out. Right? It's like a it treasure out. map. They want to sell, you know, the Cracker Jack have, boxes, and yeah. you know, it's like. Uh, it's, I think we kind of have the best shit going on, though. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean. You can't. It's it's hard. I mean, I mean, Franklin, here. the granddaddy's here. Yeah, you they, know what I mean. Yeah, like you got Franklin. You got. I mean, everything. It's yeah. ridiculous. So no, I mean, no. I don't know. It's well, this doesn't have. It's all subjective too. So it's like you know who, what you know what's best. What's best that day? You know, I mean, it. It's just at the end of the day, it's just a list. Yeah. There's a lot of lists, so like wow. we're doing our thing. You guys are real. you guys are the shit, regardless of the list, and you're a fucking cool guy, bro. So it. how did how did you um, get get going into food shit? You said by necessity. I mean, just yeah, kind of uh, just you know yeah. find a job. Uh, I think I moved I moved uh, like '99, moved to San Marcos, and just like what am I gonna do? I don't really want to. Yeah wait tables i started cooking i was working at like chilies and it was oh, probably shit. the hardest job i've ever had it was bro you gotta have a chili story like 99 shot a lot of chili story <laughs> let me get a chili story dog know, man like uh we're You're like we can't talk what happens at chili stays in chili nah, i'll dude. tell you all i mean we're we're down there we're down there and it was I mean, i'm i'm gonna tell you it was the hardest job as a fry cook and it was like uh you know if you can imagine the late 90s and in, in the in the region of south you know uh San Marcos down there, there wasn't shit. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, cause I, I just moved here. Nothing not was developed, and it was like that was the thing. That was and, and our, you know, our thing was doing the biggest numbers in the region, and it was just like busy all the time, and it's all fried stuff, and it's just like no one wanted to work there, no one wanted to keep that job. It was really, you know, it was, it was yeah. really challenging. And then like you get promoted to a better position, but then you know the fry cook would leave, and you're back at it, and it's just like. It was terrible. Jeez. So they kept pulling you down. I so mean, you would, you would, yeah, you, you would like, get promoted. I moved up to flat top, and I can cook burgers now. But then, like, no, you're the that fucking the fry fucking basket's fry guy pulling is you gone, back, dude. and you're 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 the only one that can do it. So I was like, you get stuck with that. I yeah. think the last day there, I had three out of the three out of four of the fryers had gone down, and uh, the managers were like gone and not willing to help. You know, I said. You guys got it. It was Monday Night Football, also. Oh so shit! I was like, hey, Monday Night Football at Chili's with the fucking at fryer Chili's, and bro. the fry station. And I'm like, look, you got to tell these servers we can't have, you know, 15 awesome blossoms and and all these chicken <laughs> Is that strips. That's the blooming onion yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, the oh blooming onion God. thing. And and they're you know they're making we're making hand baked uh, chicken, hand battered chicken uh, 
tenders, what they just quit doing, which was the only thing worth the shit there, if you ask me. Yeah, like, dude. He's so, giving us the tea of the yeah, Chili's tea, bro. Yeah. He's, us, he's telling us that. You, you want to do that, the onions, and, like, drop some Southwest egg rolls and BB wings all in the same fryer. Oh, it's just not possible. No, so no. I let the tickets run down to the floor and just oh, gave him the deuce and walked out. Oh, that you know? was your last day of Chili's? That was the last day, you know. Bro, if you're going to leave Chili's, I think it's better to, to leave on some, like, shit like that than uh, leave on a two-week notice at Chili's. Fuck that, yeah. They gave uh, me no I'm choice. quitting my job. I just want to let you guys know I got a new job. Uh, I'm putting my two weeks in effective immediately. That's not Chili's <laughs> fry cook fucking behavior. Yeah. Like you should, you no. should, if you're going to quit that job, you should quit it like theatrically. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it wasn't enough money. It was like nine bucks an hour or something Jesus. like that. We're just scraping, you know, scraping yeah. to pay rent. And oh, so yeah. I ended up moving up here and working at uh, Carabas as a server there. But, okay. Which I really enjoyed for a long time and, or, you know, a year or two. And then some random other server jobs yeah. and stuff like that. But the turnover rate. It seems like for like, it just seems so hard to keep those roles filled. Like my friends that I feel like own restaurants have the hardest time like hiring like and just keeping people. I just you had know. a guy quit today. Oh shit! Yeah, um, yeah. it is, and that, you know we got a pretty solid crew, but you never know when somebody's just gonna be like, "Hey, I decided to go do this thing," you know? Right. So, and I was talking to Sawyer about this when she was in here and I was, it's like, it's, it's interesting with barbecue too, especially when you're hiring like pit guys, it seems. And this is just from my third, I don't own a restaurant. So I'm just like, I just yeah. hang out with a, a lot of y'all. And I see like, uh, it seems like it's a rough thing because everybody that's applying a lot of the, per, a large percentage, maybe larger than other jobs, like other food jobs. It's like a large percentage of the people that are applying for the um, like barbecue jobs and the pit jobs and stuff, they're like, I want to be somebody one day. I'm oh, going to yeah, be yeah. the next Kyle stuff. I'm going to be the next <laughs> barbecue guy. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's like, no. and it's like, uh, sick and we love that energy, but also I need somebody to fucking help me with this shit. And you got to find that person that's yeah. kind of like put their ego aside and like really just want to be, want to be part of something. And that's, you know, yeah. that's where we're lucky right now that we have people that do that well that's and, the um, thing is i've noticed about all these barbecue spots it's like it's a fucking team the people yeah. that are real like yeah. it is a crew more Whatever. it's it's more intimate of a crew than like a lot of other a lot of other types of restaurants it seems yeah. i don't really know what i'm talking about you'll here, find but. yeah like the figurehead is you know just one little part of oh know, yeah for the, sure the real story of who's really doing the what work, do you, you know, so like, what time do you guys have to start out there when you're like doing when you're doing like overnight cooks for briskets and shit like that i mean i'm sure well, some people want to hear about that stuff too yeah i mean the thing with briskets now mostly like we're not we were doing overnight you know we were open till 3 a.m for probably like eight or nine years Bro, we were can the you late open till 3 a.m 3 a.m again it doesn't seem to be a you know it doesn't oh, seem to work anymore after so covid lit. we we just no one comes out after like eight o'clock so come on anyway. dude, the college kids are fiending for it <laughs> i wish man oh, we, try, we might try yeah, he would be, try try again like just saturday sunday just see what happens yeah I'll Saturday come maybe out. Saturday we stay open later because like Quantos closes at eight and we stay until ten so we get a little pop after it's not yeah. much it's not like it used to be so um, I forgot where I was going with oh this. I'm sorry uh, uh, but, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, what time you guys start with oh we start the, with the briskets yeah. and stuff <laughs> I'm thank sorry. you uh, yeah, yeah. no I'm sorry uh, I go all over the place we <laughs> well luckily now you know we have evolved into like most places where it's kind of you're cooking a day before and yeah you're holding it in a, holding it in a warmer so we cook pretty much like. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or you know something something in that range and just kind of hold it till the next day so and um, we're always cooking through the day too also also with stuff that's just you know big proteins like brisket and pork butt but did you did you have to did you have to did you fuck up a lot of meat before you learned how to do the shit right oh, i mean yeah, how much how much shit did you do you think you like uh, just years of, <laughs> like years you know, worth of years meat, worth i don't know yeah i mean it could have i could have fed whole villages you you do your best but you know you're just back when i started doing it it wasn't like it is now where you can just watch you know a youtube video and learn how to cook True. goldies or you know whatever re secret recipe you know it's just like yeah. we were i was going through every shitty video you've ever seen you feel like and all put the, it all together and like you know yeah. just experimenting in, in a trial and error and then also you have you know the pit we had originally is like uh it's 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 okay but it's it was you know it's weird it's like halfway direct heat kind of like right caught a fire all the time it has Jesus like super defective just like flaws in it that you know People didn't really know that, you know, build a barbecue pit without uh -huh. really knowing how to cook barbecue. So it's right. like, 
dealing with those challenges was, you know, just you, you got a lot of you got a lot of stuff hindering until you get to that level where how you got like I feel like our stuff changed a lot when we got like our our Moberg pit and everything and we were able to cook like almost a different style of barbecue because yeah. we were getting a lot of hot direct heat. If you look at the, the pit that's on our original trailer, it's kind of like the firebox is in the middle. And it's it's coming up through there. It's really an awesome pit to cook certain things. It's, I love it, but I have you know we haven't really fired it up since we got the other one. We have like yeah. that insulated uh, warming cabinet in there now and can't really use it anymore so yeah anyway but it it, it's changed a lot but you know most people just hold you know overnight so we're not cooking overnight like we were yeah Uh, we we're we're doing about 7 a.m is when we get there throw ribs on um stuff like that so it's crazy how fucking how much dedication and time goes into that shit, man. People people know that and they say it, but they don't really. I don't think they fully get it. Probably not. <laughs> no, I don't even know. Sometimes I I'll get to Interstellar or something early, like to take a shoot, like early for me for them, like you know nine or something. Yeah. And those guys are like, hey man, like they've been up. Oh yeah. They've man. been up all night. They're like, hey man, I mean, haven't seen you in a couple of days. Where how you been? You know, and it's yeah. like. Cause they're so like tired. They've been up all night, you know. They like, get there what five? Yeah, yeah. 3 and it's like you know they're working. Like it's not like they're working like uh, you know inhumane hours or anything. It's like, but it's just I feel like there's something about being awake when the sun comes, comes up. up. It like kind of makes us a little crazy. Like he makes humans. Humans get weird when they when they pull an, an overnighter, even yeah. if they haven't been up. You know, even if they had, and you know, I don't know. Definitely, definitely. It's I also would, like how it's. Pro- it'd probably be hard for me to go to bed if I work those late shifts. I'd be up until like three, and I'd be like, "Fuck, I gotta go to work in two hours." Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would just be up on my normal shit. Like, they gotta sleep during the day and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did today. I, mean, I just took a little nap before I came over here because I was yeah, I got the siesta. Early. Yeah, I was like, you had to take a siesta. I had to. I do that a lot. I'm I'm a big napper, so that's good. Yeah, I can't fucking do the nap. My wife so. can't nap. Like you know, it's just like, that's some a special ability. You yeah. nap, Tony? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you're a big napper. Yeah, I love naps. What? Yeah. Can you guys unpack the nap for me? Like, how do you hack the nap? Because for me, if I nap, it's fucking, it's. I'll, it's lights out. What are we talking? Two, three hours? No, I think maybe shorter. Maybe you have to like, I think maybe just like the power nap or something. Like I don't know. I feel like what? How like long do you nap for? Do you set an alarm and you're like, I have to be up by this time? No, usually, usually just somebody texts me or something, and <laughs> unfortunately, you know, something wakes me up. But you're just dazing. Five minutes or something. Fifteen minutes or something. I can be good. Hang on. You know. So but, you're telling me that you just daze off for the. Perfect amount of time each so, day. You just doze off. I'm not you just doze day. off for like the perfect amount, and then you you spring open. And you're like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna handle this stuff. I mean, sometimes, dude. It, yeah, sometimes. Pretty so much. it's like a perfect. It's a perfect thing that that just runs itself. It helps. Wow. A little reset. A little me. reset. But yeah, I don't dude. Know. I need. I probably should do that. I mean, some people. They're definitely like different uh, sleeping schedules for people i've read about like you know some people can do yeah. that take a fi- you know sleep hour five hours a night and then just take a nap and they're good with that but some people need the eight hours some people yeah. some people op- operate off three or four or something i have a friend like that and he's yeah no sleep just, oh how just, do they do it dude? I, don't know. I used to do it and then i can't anymore and i'm only 32 so it's only going to get worse i'm thir- <laughs> almost 33 how old are you 45. 45? Damn, yeah. you look young, bro. Yeah. Well, I bet if you shaved that facial hair up, too, yeah. you would yeah, look even super younger, young, dude. Super young, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. It's all that weed, it's bro. It's the weed. It's all that weed. It's, it's all secret. that Grateful Dead, dude. Yeah, Are you a deadhead? No. No, not no? at all. No? Not, not at all? Not at all. I'm not either, dude. No, Can, no. I don't understand them. No, I had another buddy on here who's a deadhead, and he was trying to explain it to me, and it's like the more you try to explain it to me, the less I get it. I mean, yeah, I don't. Are you are you any of those any of those follow follow the the band around? Just fucking... ICP, you know. Are you a juggalo, dude? <laughs> no, I'm just oh, I wish don't, dude. Wish. You don't have to lie on the podcast. I mean, if you're you a, ju- if you're a juggalo, you might find some contradicting pictures on the internet. <laughs> what? So you used to be a juggalo? No, I've done Halloween, you know, juggalo uh, makeup and stuff like that. Dude, it's, those it's, it's Halloween, Halloween every day for those motherfuckers. It's an easy dude. Halloween costume. So yeah, definitely. have you ever known a juggalo before? Yes, I definitely one of my good friends growing up. In East Texas, you'll find a lot of juggalos. No way. Tyler, is yeah. that where they congregate in uh, Tyler, Texas? Of, uh, it'd be a huge place for it's them. It's one of their fucking, any... what, what would you call it? Like their <laughs> hives? <laughs> it's yeah. like one of their yeah. hives. Yeah, anywhere. Um, yeah, anyway, he had the big hatchet man thing on his back window. Damn, and that's cool. He came... I heard they're all cool people. It was, okay, so he came down here one time and, and took me, you know, 
took me to the concert. Let's say I, I went with him to the concert. To like Twisted or something? This was ICP with, I think, yeah, Twisted. It's a big like deal, dude. 2000. One or three or oh, something at in Stubbs. That peak prime, dude. peak prime, oh bro. Oh my they, god, it was fucking crazy, dude. They were shooting <sighs> Fago on everybody the whole time. <laughs> like it was, uh, you're drenched. They're in, spraying drenched soda. Frigo, they spray soda. Spraying that shit on everybody. So it's the whole like time. a guar show. Everyone got on stage at the end. They invited everyone on stage at the end. So we like rushed the stage, and they got super. I think they got banned from Stubbs for doing that and stuff like <laughs> it was. It That's was so funny, fucking dude. funny, dude. But dude, anyway, those guys yeah. are off. Aw- those yeah. guys are goaded. Yeah, yeah, I feel like metal bands would be more successful if they took <laughs> more notes from Juggalos, dude. Like, yeah. not even the face paint and whatever, but just like, like look, dive into the marketing. Oh my you know God. what I mean? Like, can you dive into the marketing? How did somebody nail the like, the like? I don't know. Spencer's gifts, like, trailer park demographic like so well they own it they They, are the kings of the of the spencer's gifts trailer park demographic much respect yeah much respect Uh, there's i'm not disrespecting at all no i'm just like but they found a niche it it, that is the niche you know what i mean what's fun i I always wonder like uh did you ever watch that show workaholics they had like they had that juggalo episode where it's like a totally normal dude that's like yeah this is what i do every i forgot about that you know what i mean like gathering of the juggalos yeah i'm like i'm like it's always been a dream to go to the gathering (laughs) yeah dude dude. maybe one day Dude, can you find pictures of the actual gathering of the? Is that a real? That's a real thing they went to. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's a real thing. I think there's a documentary. Has your homie it gone too. to it? Does he I know? Haven't, no disrespect to your homie, by the way. I, What's I, his I name? haven't talked to this guy in a long time. Oh well, then fuck him. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck you, Shane. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it, I doubt it. I don't think he's left Listen, the house junk. in like ten years or twenty years. Yeah. So anyway, he's not tuned into the Matrix. Yeah, that was way before all that. You know, that was. Yeah. In the nineties. Let's see if we can find some Oh damn. <laughs> Dude, see that just looks like a party. They just Promise. knew how to they don't know how to party, bro. The biggest party, yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish I fucking knew a juggalo just just for the just for the insight. Yeah. Like I just wanna yeah. know like what do you guys what do you guys talk about? <laughs> you know, like I'm so interested. That's How great. do you do you guys compare face paints? Do I swear you there's a documentary <laughs> about this gathering of the juggalos? Is there? Yeah, I swear to God, unless I'm imagining that, I'm pretty sure I watched that. Dude, look up. I want to know the uh, ICP uh, net worth in a separate tab because I want to look at these again. I, I got to know how much these motherfuckers are, are making. I got to know so we can both feel bad about it. That's a good question. <laughs> right? I mean, are you, aren't you curious? What are we looking at? I'm sure. It's- damn, damn. Thirty goddamn. <laughs> Thirty million. That's not bad. Off of fake. Does that include Fago? What is Fago worth as a brand? How much is Fago worth as a brand? I gotta know. I feel like because more that now 30, than more that now than million, ever. You know that thirty million cannot include Fago. That's gotta just be how much their houses and shit are worth. Do they own Fago now? Fago is worth four point seven billion dollars. Oh. Does does ICP own Fago? Oh, we're we're so. do we are more cracking of a sponsorship, but I don't. Are know. is it? I, I thought it was know. there. Does I have to know now? They were just Do repping people- really hard for it, and then they were like, they made it their thing, and uh, I feel like that was like a sponsorship. I don't know that they. Imagine your. Uh, yeah, it's just. No, yeah. We're gonna rep for Fago. Right, yeah. That's crazy. ICP does not own Fago. Sadly, sadly, sadly. <laughs> you're right. I would like for them to own Fago. That does kind of make me sad, dude. Oh. How much did? Okay, further, we're gonna dig it down this rabbit hole. How much money did ICP make from Fago? Because they had to have made some money, right? They were spawned. They spray it on people. It's like their thing. Yeah. You think Fago? What a dude! What a fucking like. <laughs> talk about risk reward for for your brand. Like, listen, there's a guy at a board meeting. And he's like, listen, Tom, I'm gonna, you're gonna think this is crazy. I found this group of people. They paint their face. They go to these concerts. They're crazy, but. If we can tap into this, just trust me. Just take this risk. And then it's like they took it, and holy shit, it no, fucking it. worked. It fucking worked. I don't even know what, what the, is this. What the, is this saying? You're going. What is this? Paid in Fago. Is there not a number? Wait, insane clown posse in debt over Juggalo gathering. Oh shit. Oh shit. You gotta support. Yeah, everybody buy some fucking ICP merch. Is there a GoFundMe. It would be kind of a flex to wear an ICP shirt just in public, like on a normal day. Like that is a people will go, no way, that guy. <laughs> you know, like if you, I had one. if you're a normal business looking dude and you just wear an ICP shirt, walk down the road, people are like, that that guy's one. He's one of them. 
Oh, I had one from the Big Money Rustlers movie. If yeah. you haven't seen that, uh-uh. that's a, it's a it's a great film. Yeah, they got a few. They got is a, it a Juggalo film? They made they made a movie. So or two. you are kind of a little. You've toyed with the oh, idea I, I of being a Juggalo. I've definitely watched it. I mean, it's like I've. I've <laughs> You're, I had the I had the album in you know ninety nine ninety eight or something. Juggalo, I wouldn't call myself a juggalo, no. But well, I, then what's the difference? What you don't have the tattoo? Is dabbled that in, you know dabbled in it, but no, not a. You real, flirted not a, with the with the idea. Oh yeah, and then even Explored painting it, even painting your face on okay, Halloween. I guess you got me. I guess I'm a juggalo. Even painting your face on Halloween, you're like you're like I'm just just I'm just kidding. It's just Halloween, it's just but Halloween, you're like but flirting really, with oh, the. It's the best day of my life. No. Dude, listen, I think it's like, you know, some people don't feel like they are what they're born as, dude. I feel like you identify as a juggalo, dude. I think you need to just let it happen. Okay. I want okay. you cut and brisket full face paint, full okay. juggalo face paint. Right. No, it would sweat off in the pits. Oh, my God. It wouldn't work. It yeah. would be so bad. Yeah, it would be bad. It would be so terrible. You're not a juggalo. We can try it, though. We can try it. Okay. Damn. But you're, but you're, but I do feel like this yearning from you, like you, like you wish that you could have experienced it through a juggalo's eyes. I, did, I feel like I experienced it uh, <laughs> uh, through a. You yeah. did enough. What was the movie you're talking about? I swear, I think they have two. But look up the juggalo. Shirt I had was look up juggalo movies. Fucking ridiculous! Big money rustlers or something. <laughs> it's a cowboy ICP crossover <laughs> movie. Sick. I, I just love shitty movies too. So big money uh, rustlers. Yeah. Dude, I love shitty movies too. If we could get oh, like a scene the from the movie too, it's one of the shittiest. Big ones. money ru- hustlers. Hustlers, yeah. I think there's hustlers, and then the rustlers is the the western. <laughs> so there's that's the two. There we go. really they have a western. Bro, really, Are they in face paint? And this is the kind of shit we're sitting around in in Northern California watching because there's really not much to do. So. Yeah, no, this is this is great, there. dude. Just so you know, there, there. this is great podcasting right now. <laughs> okay. but this is what this is exactly what. And I am not a barbecue podcast. Yeah, there's no pressure to talk about barbecue. Oh, we yeah. basically did all the all the barbecue shit, got it out of the way. Now we're fucking now chilling. We're fucking now we're now, now we're in the matrix, dude. Yeah. Now we're on the tangent. Nah, man. No, this is great. I gotta see. Uh, this is an ad. Skip this stupid ad. Damn it, Tony. I'm just kidding. It's YouTube's fault. It wouldn't let us. Oh, so this is the Western. Yeah. Oh, see, I wish. Yeah, give us a second of it, but then mute it. A man on a mission. <laughs> Holy shit. When they're talking again, let's see if we can get some dialogue for just a second. And then we'll, because I don't want to get pulled long, off. Long, long time. But I'm back now. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> Dude, I gotta watch these. Yeah, this is I fucking don't remember, amazing. I don't remember one damn bit about it, so now I gotta rewatch it. Dude, this is incredible. Will you throw me that fucking notepad real quick? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm literally writing this down. This is so funny. Holy fuck. It's pretty funny. And then there you go. Ooh, did you see that catch on the podcast? Mm. Boom. Tony, you're not writing. You're not taking notes down about this podcast. You're not <laughs> like, taking down timestamps, Tony. What am I gonna talk uh, about? Chili's and ICP. Dude, there Chili's. You know. I feel like you're holding out on the Chili stories. I feel like you have another Chili story in the in the uh, in the chamber that you're not giving us right now. You have you have to have another wild story from Chili's one night. Uh, crazy customer. I mean, I wasn't you know I wasn't interacting with the customers that much. We were we were just in the Good. bag being bad. Yeah, yeah being was, being yeah, naughty. Yeah, yeah, my friend, uh, my guy, my buddy who I'm still really good friends with now was that was the expo and he. This got fired for like pulling some kid's pants down in the walk-in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> acting, acting like he was uh, gonna he pulled some brutalize kid. him. The kid was like, you know, he I, pantsed him and then was like, "I'm gonna get you." And the kid wasn't even offended. He thought it was funny, but the managers found out about it and they were like, "You, you're fucking you go. pussy sexual. ass managers can't like, have it's not any sexual fun." Sexual harassment if the kid wasn't harassed, you know, wasn't yeah, didn't feel harassed. Fun, but anyway, after after that. That's kind of when I was like, I'm out of here. Yeah, way to make it weird, yeah, guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was just pulling my pants down, acting like he was going to, you know, yeah, yeah, in the walk-in. Yeah, it's come on. Way to make it weird, corporate. Yeah, damn it. we got to cut this part. No, I'll cut it. Do you want me to cut it? <laughs> no, <I'm just> okay. <laughs> really? Are you sure? I didn't do it. I was yeah. just like, like. It's just chilies, dude. Yeah, it's just chilies. Listen, you've escaped. You have escape velocity. You're, you have one of the best barbecue trucks in Austin, dude. You, don't, you don't need chilies. Chilies can't touch you, dude. 
Chili's can't fuck with you anymore. Yeah. Okay. That's true. That's true. <laughs> not even the 45th and Lamar location. No, no. Damn. Not even the not even 45th and Lamar. Chili's Damn. can't fucking touch you anymore. Yeah. Dude, give me a little more Juggalo movies. I wasn't. By the way, did you know Apple Hack? You can take your four fingers and just swipe that logo away. Other way. Boom. We're right back at Juggalos. That just blow your mind or what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's two movies big money hustlers big money rustlers and hustlers yeah that's it as far as i know we have to see if there's more since you don't know that's true big I, money i haven't looked in a long time it could be a new one dude i have to watch this i have to get baked and watch this it's so funny that is so great that there's like like somebody would <laughs> I don't even like know. things that we didn't think existed for for 300 like Whoa, what is this? Insane clown sex and cl insane clown violence. <laughs> Mind blowing effects. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, Go geez, back, dude. Money hustlers. Mind blowing Mind effects. Mind blowing effects. Clown posse is. They're so funny, dude. Starring Violent J. Shaggy Two Dope. All right, cut the audio. That's so funny, dude. That is so funny. And the fact that they went and made a fucking Western, too. Like, that is something that I thought, like, did not exist was a Juggalo Western. Out of order. Anything is possible. If we can have a Juggalo Western in this world, anything is possible. Those guys truly follow their dreams, dude. Oh, my God. It's incredible. I wish I had more facts about fucking uh, ICP. But what other? I feel like there's more music uh, experiences to unlock with you. I Nobody wears a tie-dye shirt with, with what's his name again from... Uh, <laughs> from uh Dale show that shirt off dale right yeah dale gribble dale dude. gribble jordan cross dude that, that that shirt goes hard yeah I saw can you get a good you getting that on the pod over there dude that shirt goes hard yeah wow um google it i saw it in some king of the hill facebook group that i'm in and it's yeah. like some guys you know selling them online and then they sent me like a pin with it it was a an awesome package deal like it was it's a good deal i need to buy another one yeah really, just they have a, all the characters on them they have a bunch of different ones they have it's just like crossovers so they have like yeah i can't even remember but some different some different little crossovers but obviously this one's the best so like <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up in texas right mm -hmm. yeah tyler texas east texas so tyler not t not taylor not taylor yeah Tyler, it's way further east, like in the middle of uh, nowhere. So, straight in the middle. What was that Dead like east growing Texas. up in a small town? Was it really? Is it a small town? Would you classify it yeah, as a small? I would mean, Jason it's, Aldean it's like call a, it a small town? Jason Aldean would definitely <laughs> identify with it. Uh, <laughs> it's a fucking. It's like a hundred thousand, but it's you know small town mentality and yeah. like, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely small town. So, it's it's kind of rough. Uh, just. It, you know, the '90s were kind of wild. Just like I, I don't, it was, it was a different time. Like I, you got to tell me about yeah. it because I was, uh, I was, I was just growing. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little younger, so it's like I don't know. I was a, I didn't become you know conscious until I was you know I don't know just ran until the 2000s. I, know, I, to, I remember 2000s. <laughs> try. I think watching too much, you know. Menace to society or boys in the hood and just everybody thinking they're you know in a gang and running around just trying that to was get Tyler, a name Texas? for themselves and like trying to get in little fights and just not you know not drive by or right. killing each other but just like just kind of like I'm, I'm gonna be the badass you know everybody's gonna know my name but it's, and, like, you know, kids. it's like yeah and so it's like, like a high school kids. it's like an episode of Rugrats people Pretty, are like <laughs> fucking playing pretend little gang <laughs> gang and trying to beat each other up yeah and, yeah that's so funny it was kind of rough I yeah. was not it was just. My dad Not, grew up in nothing to do there, so people just like, yeah, I'll get drunk and get in a fight. So I my know. dad grew up in a place like that in Ohio called Groveport, Ohio, right. outside of Columbus, and it was like he took me back there a couple times. He's like, "Look, Tay, it's my high school." And it's just like, dude, what? Yeah. Why would you bring me here? Don't take me. Yeah, no. Now we had Robert E. Lee High School. And, yeah, you know, yeah. So Who like is that, that again? Remind, I don't know. The Pulled Confederate. Fall. Oh great! It was your high school Super was named. General, yeah. Your high yeah. school was named after a Confederate. Yeah, dude. bro. That's what I'm saying. Shit like that. <laughs> Stars um, and bars, baby. And they just changed it like in the last two or three years to <laughs> Legacy or something. So and everybody. Still, Which is still, still kind of like. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Still, it's still. Legacy. We'll just call it Legacy. We'll name it after his legacy. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> so it's like shit like that so was it always like grow up and move to the city where people are less stupid or what? Just, like, I just got 
I got tired of like getting in trouble and stuff, and I was just like, man, I got to get out of here. And I oh, like, you were getting in trouble. I got, yeah, I got in a little, you know. You can't talk about it. I can talk about it. Yeah. It's the same shit I'm saying. Just yeah, yeah. Getting in dumb, you know. Were you selling and, weed out there as a kid? I got in trouble one time for doing that. I, I did it a couple, you know, a couple times. <laughs> I got in trouble, then I did it a couple more I, times. Yeah, I did it, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. I'll keep doing it. No. Um, See, I sold weed in Oregon, uh, and I did it legally. And then before that, obviously, did it did you know we I, we played around with things. But it's like uh, it's uh, doing it doing that kind of shit out here is like oh god yeah. that is like a, the true. Sh I always would call it swashbuckling, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's swashbuckling. That is true pirate activity. You are you are arg. You know what I mean? You're on the you're on the, you're riding the seas. You're defending yourself against the Texas State Police. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? It's, it's like nuts, a totally it's... different ball game. Like to be selling selling dub sacks in Tigard, Oregon, where I grew up, versus selling yeah. dub sacks in Tyler, Texas. That yeah, is crazy. That is crazy. Such a different fucking ball game. It that was, is the pr it, you're playing the pro leagues. That's what that is. That's was, the pro leagues because no, it was the dumb leagues. It was just like Lindale, Texas, tiny little shit. Town. Town, and I, this will sound crazy, but it might not. It's like the sheriffs had their own little operation out there. What we they were selling that does sound crazy. What are you talking well, about? They had like basically like an old club, and they had guys that would you know it was known you could just go in there and buy weed, and they didn't bust. What do you mean a club like a place where old guys drink? One of those like basically, a club, yeah. the clubhouse thing. Yeah, exactly. Eagles Clubhouse yeah, or whatever, yeah. so where it's like a bunch of old guys with cowboy hats yeah. drinking, and you go out there and you can buy stuff, and then like they didn't bust it, but then. They, you know, came to our house over nothing, you know, and just like. But because they had like an interest in it, I, that, I mean, that's the rumor, you know, that's damn, the obvious thing. That's like, the conspiracy, bro. Yeah, that's the conspiracy. Which, like, we didn't even have anything at the time. It ended up being like no big deal. You know, we got like paraphernalia tickets because there was so little. You know, there's nothing there. And these guys were Dude. just like trying to act like we were some kind of kingpins or something. But that's so annoying. It's it was, like if you're if if you're gonna be a dirty cop, like sick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's how I feel. But, like, you know, like, like not like a dirty cop, like, a you know, whatever, profiling black people cop or whatever. But it's like, you're going to be a dirty cop and, like, sneak into the, like, you know, get a little something off of your, like, that's that's fun and, and interesting to me. But don't be... Don't be busting the low the low level guys, oh dude. God. You know what you, I mean? Like, 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 yeah, like, 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 like if you're going to be a dirty cop, then, like, dope. But, like, don't come over to us and be like, hey. You know what I mean? Like, like, come over to us and be like, <laughs> you yeah. know, like, be on our team. Give me you know, a piece of that. Yeah, if you're gonna be a dirty cop, yeah. just like let's 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 t work together, baby. You yeah, know, they were known. They were known as, as that. So you always anyway, see like, the dirty cop thing in like movies, but you never like, you know. Well, there's good you always old think boy it's like, networks all across the state where it's just like you know, there's good cops and there's bad cops, but there's a lot of. Uh, a lot yeah. of dirty ones. And Do you think Texas has gotten more chill since you've grown up and shit about like weed and 100%. like? Hundred percent. Like, yeah. I mean, there's well now there's all these. You got to educate me because I'm I'm not from. I just moved okay, here well, a year ago. So it's right like right now, I'll, I'll tell you real quick what the deal is. Is like we have like legal CBD hemp, uh, so it's indistinguishable from, uh, you know, your THC marijuana that without doing a lab test. So they're in this gray area where they're not going to that they can't they don't they can't physically test you when they pull you over with some pot they can't they, test they, your weed yeah, you, give me that nugget i'm going to fucking you know, you swab just it don't admit to them that it's not you know you you would just be like this is legal cbd hemp or whatever because there's such a crazy gray area now and i feel like it's it's spawned like all this stuff in austin like just there's a lot of shops here. Like it seems like it seems like they're dispensaries, but they're not selling real weed. And then some of them secretly pop sell real too. weed. Have you seen any of these pop ups? Yeah, uh, <laughs> at the uh, at various comedy clubs. I'm not going to put any on blast, but like mm -hmm. sometimes you see like yeah, that's the like one. vendors that's and stuff. You know what I mean? Like vendors will go. They'll have like a weed show where everyone's high. What's interesting is like people get away with smoking weed indoors here more than I've ever seen it at home. Cause like we're controlled, oh, yeah, we're yeah. controlled no, by smoking, the, yeah, we're yeah. controlled by the OLCC at home, which is like the liquor guys, the the mafia, and they control they control the fucking uh, weed too, and so <clears throat> they treat the weed like like liquor, like it's it is fucking box like they have all these rules and like no, everyone's scared of like losing their license and stuff. Yeah, no, you know what I mean. That's why I mean I saw that in California and here it's just like wide open. They're just like 
setting up well, shop with yeah, vendors, 20, 20 guys popping up, selling stuff. It's selling. so it's so awesome. It's so cowboy it's, here. Because I like that. I, I love like, that. It's like people are smoking inside, and like because that was a big thing that with Oregon. Like the laws don't make didn't make sense, or I I don't really know if they. I'm pretty sure they haven't changed them. Did you roll this yourself? Jesus Christ! Yeah. Look at that. It's pristine. Yeah. I wish I could roll. I can't fucking roll joints, dude. Sometimes I can't I fucking get, roll them, dude. I can roll a mean backwood. I can't I'll roll fucking small roll ones. I can backwards. only roll them about that size. If I. It's the perfect. This is a cartoon doobie yeah that's what this is a cartoon dupe can you are you getting that that is a cartoon <laughs> pretty much the only size i can dupe. do it's awesome but um but yeah the laws are so weird there it's like you can't buy it or sell it unless it's in a store like you can't sell it between each other which you know you could sell meat to each other you, yeah. you could i could kill a deer and sell you half of it yeah that's the problem with it this is they want to super regulate everything and it's just like nobody that's not what anybody wants with a fucking plant that <sighs> can grow like so yeah you know the weird thing is too like portland kind of i feel like this i'm not sure the two things are connected they probably are and are not in some ways i don't know but it seems like since we legalized shit kind of fucking you know what i mean <laughs> and, and i'm not saying that it's the cause and i know it's like yeah, you know i know that and i never thought i would say that I never thought I would say that. I was I've always been like fucking let's legalize weed. I owned a weed business in Oregon. You know, like a legal licensed one for a couple of years and it's like it's and I always worked in dispensaries, but it seems like it it was like once it was like once that fell like everything else. Like they were like, "You know what? Just fucking do crack." Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's like, like it's out of control. Like it's like, like, like you know yeah. like imagine if you gave hippies their weed during fucking Vietnam era where everybody's like smoking weed and like no like no war it's like okay yeah let's do let's do like molly in the streets let's do acid together in the streets like yeah it's like it, it just seemed like something happened where it was like after the and i'm not i'm still pro like texas needs to legalize it but <laughs> yeah no. there, there's like just don't legalize fentanyl use no, i was gonna how say, about I, that I, how I about like... how about we just have one thing legal and the rest of them we just don't no that's not gonna happen here i don't think that's what i was gonna say the fentanyl has been the new thing so it's like how much oh. yeah i know dude it's great i've been i've been doing it <laughs> as long as you can you need yeah, some as long as you can handle it you need some dude uh, no, I'm good. i've had a couple friends die from that shit it's fucked up fuck fentanyl <laughs> if they really gave a shit about us, I feel like they would fucking get rid of that shit, right? No, I mean, we know they don't. Yeah, we know they don't. We know that. Yeah. But yeah, um, oh yeah, but it, it was, it's so weird with the the weed law. So hang on, I want you to look this up, Tony, and we can fact check this on the pod. Is it is the focus fucking up from the smoke on my face? Is it still good? Nice, sick, <laughs> um, fucking sick, dude. So look up Google search. So somebody told me this in a head shop. I went to Galveston, and this lady told me in a, hell, in a head shop in Galveston. Oh, wow. So th this is my news source. Breaking news. Beep, 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 beep. You know, like Galveston. like Galveston head shop lady. She she told me that it is it has been decriminalized completely in the entire state of Texas, and they're going to recreationally legalize it. And I remember I did some research and it looked like she was correct but it was like no one's talking about this for some reason i don't think so but look <laughs> look it up look up look up texas weed decriminalized i mean different because cities like austin and houston have definitely like decriminalized it. uh i don't know about officially we voted for citywide de decriminalization like uh look last, at this one day ago at the state level this session, the Texas House of Representatives passed a series of bills to decriminalize marijuana, facilitate expungements, and allow chronic pain patients to access medical. Uh, cool. Is well, that real? I don't know when it kicks in, but that's Is cool. that real? That's Can we find good. out more, Tony? That sounds good to me. But, like, why is that not in the news? It, you know why I think it's... No, no, <laughs> hang know. on. No, no, no. I, I thought about this. Yeah. I thought about this. You know why it's not in the news? Because, because it's too little too late. That's what it is. That's why it's not. Nobody gives a fuck because it's like, it's like, okay, you should have did this ten years ago, and yeah. this shit should be recreational now. You fucks. We don't care. This isn't fucking news. Great, you're halfway to like the rest of the country. Like, you know what I mean? Like, still gonna find. Yeah. Wait, what does it say? All right, the bill which is passed oh, unanimously see. by the House Criminal uh, Jurisprudence Committee last month would remove 
criminal penalties for the possession of up to one ounce of marijuana or cannabis concentrate. Okay, so you can have a zipperoo, a zip of concentrate. It's a lot. It's a lot of oil, bro. Oh, yeah. uh, such possessions would be reclassified as class C misdemeanor and citable offense, not subject to arrest, and carrying a fine of up to five hundred dollars. So. Yeah, so it's just decriminalized, which is how it's been in Oregon since I was 18. But I think it's that's why like that. I think that's why nobody's talking about it because it's like too little, too late shit. But go you know to Oklahoma. I mean? like, go to Oklahoma and see what the fuck's going on there. Like it's wide open. I, what is just, Oklahoma now? It's I don't know. Wide open, the easiest place you could probably go to With get licenses. Arms wide open. Yeah. It's the creed of It's the weed creed states. of weed, dude. Yeah, the oh, creed dude, of weed. Yeah. That's dude, that's the Oklahoma slogan. Damn, the creed of weed, baby. That real quick. Dude, we're dude, we're never we're not released. We're cutting that out. That's our that's our shit. Yeah. We're gonna make a brand, a clothing brand called the Creed of Weed, dude. With arms wide open, we'd take that shit in. That would sell. <laughs> um, yeah, it's super cheap. You get a license, you get land, super cheap. Uh, you can do like as much as you want for, you know, it's not like California where it's super regulated. So, and that's, you know, right next to us. So, so you're saying we're going to start a grow up together I'm, in Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm not saying no. I'm no, saying, like a legal one. You're yeah, saying yeah. we're going to get licensed in Oklahoma yeah, is what yeah. you're saying. Roll and smoke, we'll call it. We'll Then we'll take the barbecue place and the weed place and we'll, be, we'll serve barbecue in the parking lot in Oklahoma dude there you go boom business will plan. be infused. and i don't even need to be involved i'll just i'll just be there from the sidelines this is you we're this working, is all you we're, we're working on infusing uh you know barbecues are kind of like are you our really future, yeah our future thing here like I, uh so what that's that's kind of where i feel like we're gonna shine you waited how long we've been doing going yeah I don't know. an I hour to talk it. about I fucking putting about, meat yeah. and barbecue i had to loosen you up to we're talk about <laughs> We had to talk about juggalos for a minute before you're going to talk about putting weed in barbecue. We got to warm it up a little bit. You're, you're, right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But yeah, we're. I think New Year's Eve going to do an infusion uh, infusion dinner. So, what? Yeah. The whole dinner? Yeah, the whole dinner. Uh, what's going to be? What's what are we? What are? Can you talk about the we're dishes? We're still kind of working on it. We actually just started like uh, planning out the dishes like last night. Me and my wife are uh, working on it. So um, there's. We got a few, but it's not really that far along yet to know. You don't want to talk about what you're working on yet because you don't know. What's it's super happen. like brainstorming. Like, uh, I mean, can you right talk now. about some of the stuff you've tried? You don't have to if you don't want to like divulge the methods. Um, and stuff. yeah, but if, not but at like, all. Just, no, I think we, people be interested to just hear like, what uh, what didn't work. You no, know, what hasn't worked. You know. No, I don't know. Uh, it's, everything's worked pretty good. <laughs> uh, we've infused some like beef tallow with with some uh, mm. with some stuff, and then. Any, you know, you can just do anything at that point. You can put it on a brisket while you cook that. You can put it on. What I, made. I was gonna uh, ask if you were gonna do tallow because it's like weed is fat soluble, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. What are what is the rules? It's we're not it. it's not water soluble, right? But no. it's fat and sugar. It bonds to it bonds to like fat. So alcohol, yeah. right, is one of them. Yeah, alcohol. Yeah, right, something like that. Yep. So yeah, it's fun. Uh, Hell yeah, we, dude. we did some like crispy tacos with it at uh, Ooh. Troubadour and. Uh, I went up there and helped Blake uh, barbecue for the the one in uh, Salina a month or two ago, and uh, cooked a bunch of like our crispy tacos, but with Ugh. carne asada, but with like that <clears throat> tallow because we cook them in that we cook them in tallow anyway. So. Can you can you pull up? I want to show people the crispy tacos, please, because <laughs> because I want people to go to Rolling Smoke because it's so fire. Look at this, Maybe. located on eleventh, twelfth. Yeah, 1108 El East 12th. 1108 East 12th next to Quantos Tacos, the coveted. Look at that son of a bitch. Look at that thing. Yeah. Look at that thing. So can you explain to people how you do this? I'm so hungry right now. Yeah, this no, is amazing. We, uh, I love that you're that's just like food porn. Yeah, we take some uh, kind of some good special order, nix them all tortillas, and then uh, crisp them up in beef tallow. Uh, that one's a carnitas taco. We do all in the pit. Uh, basically just braise it on... Smoke it for a while, get a bunch of smoke on it, and then braise it. Smoked and, carnitas, bro. Yeah, and then we do barbacoa as well every Sunday. So what uh, what makes the carnitas different from just like a pulled pork? You know, like that you would well, see, see at most that's barbecue the problem places. With most places, a lot of places will just sell you like some bullshit like pulled pork and call it carnitas. Well, but what like, is that? Like, what I are mean, the what is the difference? I, what are you what are what do you do different to make it carnitas versus like a pulled pork? I think you're you're kind of cooking like chunks and like lard and you know some kind of like seasoned lard instead of you know cooking it in that or you know okay that's what we do so because you so you kind of like because isn't carnitas how do you make it again you like stew it over and over like a long period of time yeah right? if you're well most you know a lot of times if they're doing it in like a copper pot like it's pretty hot so it's like i don't know how long it would actually take you know probably a couple hours or something but yeah uh, we 
I think it probably takes us about eight or nine on the on the pit and some pans. So and that's okay. after already holy smokes. shit, eight hours. We take it pretty far before we even put it in the pans. You know, Is it shoulder it. though? Uh, it's usually rib stuff. Ribs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. the rib area. Well, you know, there's like a lot of trim on ribs, so uh, to get them kind of uniform and nice. So it's usually that that we use. Nice. So, oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good way to get rid of that. Are you guys? Do you guys use a lot of like the scrap stuff for oh, other yeah. things? We try to use it all. We use that. Uh, for carnitas, and we use all the brisket trim for carne guisada. That oh, we do okay. Oh, the, well, the so. guisada. What's yeah. the difference between a guisada and an asada? Carne asada uh, versus it's more carne. Dude, I think it's got it's gonna have more like the gravy and the okay. liquid and everything yeah. in there. So, um, yeah. Have you guys ever done like a birria taco? Give me some more pictures, oh, yeah. Tony. I need some more. I need some more angles on this. Yeah, we've done beer a, a, a few times. We've done it. We did it pretty recently too. Let's just show off this food one set for one second. I'm food tripping right now. I love this. We live in the best place for food, bro. Oh, the yeah. food out here. Oh, yeah. The food out here. We just have it so good. Oh my god. That's the beer. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Look I, at the consomme. It's clear like I like it. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, Harvey. Uh, oh goodness. Are Harvey's you, are you yeah. okay over Harvey's there? Are you okay? I'm checking on you. Are you good? I'm, to- I'm good. Okay. Oh my god. So, so good. It's my mouth's watering. <laughs> we're gonna eat right after this. We have to go eat. Oh my god. It's, I mean, his beer. Uh, I'll put it against anybody. This who's Harvey, the uh, post oak arsonist that works. That this is my shout out Harvey. Shout Harvey, out po- shout out post oak arsonist. He's getting follow ready, him. You know, his, his, uh, we'll pull his Instagram up in another tab. His uncle's a is chef he, is he Monterey, right there? Like, He's right. Wait, post oak. Wait. Is he on here? Is, is, he, is, he, in, is he in the comments? No, this one, but Where you at, bro? Get in the comments. Come on, probably, Harvey. He's probably tagged in the in the photo. Oh, I see. Go down there on the yeah. See if he's in there. Yeah, Post good. Oak. What is it? That one. That one. Yeah. So. Post Oak arsonist. Those look so fire. Oh, shout out Harvey, dude. Yeah, Harvey's the man. Harvey's got, got a, some fucking swag on his IG. What are those little empanada things? What is he that? He made some beer empanadas as a collaboration with our neighbors, Cachitos. Oh. And they were fucking ridiculous. So, Dude, you guys are doing some crazy shit in that little in that little pod. There's some oh, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. restaurants in that little pod. Yeah, yeah. Like if you <clears throat> if you built like a building around you guys, like a nice building around you guys, like it would be like a like a a sick food hall place like you know with like high like yeah like it's... like high level restaurant food truck things in there you know you know those food hall thingies uh-huh. I feel like you could do that it's a lot it's getting to I think they're putting another spot in there this week or something I'm like those look crazy bro Harvey yeah. wait what's in there Beria Beria. Yeah, inside lamb. of that was lamb. oh lamb that was lamb lamb beer the real shit yeah yes i said lamb no beef here he says hell yeah that is so fire what is it in though like a empanada thing yeah that their their empanadas that are, looks are crazy super good. they're just like really corny. oh wait so he's got a spot in there with you is what you're saying the, yeah that's uh cachitos 512 is our neighbor they do uh, venezuelan food oh that's the black truck yeah the black oh one. yeah super that place fire. is really good super fire so like, yes harvey yeah, yes he did a, he did a collab yes with him on his, uh, on a, like a Tuesday that's so fire i wish more people did more collabs have you done a collab with john yet oh yeah i was one of the first space cowboys uh I think we got to get him to do those some more. I think we got to do more fun, <laughs> just, more fun stuff I was just like talking that. Talking about that today with uh, uh, barbecue social had commented on mm-hmm. like, uh, where am I? And I was like, the only uh, Texas barbecue restaurant with my name on the wall. And I was like, and then John was like, yeah, yeah you're alumni. So Hell like, yeah, it's cool. He's always shout like, out to John Bates, shout dude. Out John I'm Bates. getting him in here too soon. He he's always, just a busy uh, guy. He's like, you're welcome to. You know, come to any of them. That's awesome. Dude, so. some of my favorite times are when we're just chilling at behind an event <laughs> with me, you, and John, and maybe maybe some Evan Leroy action, oh, yeah. and just having some drinks at it. Like Troubadour was so fun. Yeah, just all the homies. Are you guys doing Troubadour I again? I was gonna say, do we just like yesterday signed on for that? So. Fuck yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah Where course. is it this year? That one in College Station again. So. Oh, it's back there. That was a cool spot. Yeah, they Troubadour love- Festival this year. You guys come get your barbecue. Come get your rolling smoke. They're everywhere. Hell yeah. Yeah, they're um It's gonna be sick. Go back to cool. Kyle's Instagram. Uh go back to the Rolling Smoke Instagram, Tony. Please. Oh my god, look at those pork bellies, dude. We're just gassing up your meats right now. Is that okay with you, uh, dude? Yeah. Is that okay? Can yeah. we talk about them? What what's up with these? Talk to me about these. Sir. 
pork belly burn ins. Uh, <laughs> a little dance. Here. A little dance. That's good. It's all right. You got to keep it fresh on IG. Yeah. Look at that. Keep it interesting. I love it. Yeah. Uh, we do our. Uh, so we use Fierce Whiskers Bourbon, the local spot. Uh, <laughs> He's really giving it to him, dude. Yeah, man. He's, he's getting into this. It, he doesn't want to drop him though, because it's it's a very careful dance. No, Here, go to the other. Go no, to another. We need, we need this. So, so how how long? What do you guys put those in? Here, just pause it, Tony. We just sell, uh, mostly sell them by the pound, where we're sandwiches and tacos. But they're one of the just like specials that we started doing that are really popular. They sell out pretty quick. Are you guys doing uh, Christmas turkey things? This is going to go up yeah. before Christmas, oh, yeah, yeah. by the way, we if do. you want to promo that. Yeah, we definitely will be Ooh, doing that. Well, we do turkeys and hams and briskets, and we'll probably even be doing a prime rib special on Christmas Eve. Oh, there's my guy Warren. That's gorgeous. Hell oh, yeah, uh, it is. War dog. Shout out War, War dog, dog, dude. That's, that's my, my, my man right Bro, I've been there. thinking about getting him in here. Talk to me about Rush for two hours, bro. Oh, man. You <laughs> War dog? It's on the table, brother. You should. Dude, that would be epic. War dogs, you know War dog has some war stories. Yeah, he's he's got some He's going to love man. that we brought him up on this, too. I love you, War dog. Love you, you got to come. You got to come out here and do that. So you guys are doing turkeys. Yeah, turkeys I mean, and hams? What else? Briskets? Yeah, we'll do whatever. You do, whatever. do whatever. 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 Get yeah. that get that holiday meats from Rolling Smoke. You hear me? We usually do like get a, that a support lot more support for, that shit. I need to get my online ordering turned on now when I go home. Oh, for, uh, dude, for Christmas they'll they'll be ordering it, bro. But, Look at uh, this. It'll be on by then. We're you guys are doing okay. Oh, You're we'll do tamales too. We'll have tamales around that time. Ooh, so that's gonna be tamales. Is there a picture of those? That's probably like last year. But Is yeah. there a picture of those on here we somewhere? Have to go back like oh. You gotta go back. A year, but, uh, we don't have. Oh, okay, we'll do that another time. Fucking, yeah, uh, uh, talk to me about brunch, though, dude. Because you guys are doing a brunch once in a while, right? Brunch, yeah. He's got Is that a, this one? That's it. Some smoked biscuits. Oh, and egg, bro, egg type stuff. Stop it, Tony. Turn it off. I'm kidding. Don't turn it off. What is it? Is that Gouda sliced on there? That is actually an apple just sliced oh. really thin. Uh, there's mm. a hash back there with like cream oh. corn gravy. Oh. There's so much ridiculous shit. Like yeah, was, you're like, how crazy can we make the brunch? We've done the brunch like twice. Uh, one day it was really shitty weather, and one day it was it was really successful. So yeah. we need to maybe. Somebody says heaven on earth twice, Greg Carlson. Greg Carlson, yeah. <laughs> heaven on earth shout twice. Out, That's two Carlson. times. Damn, I got to eat that. Hell yeah! Yeah, those biscuits are cool. Just all done on there, but I don't know how we got back. I don't know how we got back on barbecue. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. That's that's <laughs> probably you know, there's a lot more to talk about. I think with barbecue, I, like what? I don't know. Just like what? That's, those are the easy questions. I don't know. Is the it, easy questions. We got them out the way, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, oh I'm just shit! Saying, I'm just I just fucking barbecue. accidentally kicked my thing. Did you see me shrink down? Oh shit! I just accidentally kicked my thing and shrunk my chair down. You want to watch some dumb shit? Do you watch funny shit on the internet? Yeah, not as uh, not as much not as you used to. As much as I used to, yeah. I was just thinking about that the other day. My TV setup is. Tony, you know these more than I do. I don't know. You can pull some shit up. Watch Let's watch some shit and get out of here. How long have we been going with Kyle? An hour. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, Juggalo movies is the that is. That was like thirty minutes of it. Right? <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's fine. We <laughs> could go back to that. To be, I'm down with that because <laughs> that I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the Juggalo movies. Both of them. I'm gonna make my girlfriend watch them. This is hilarious. This yeah. piece of paper's coming home with me. It. Do you want another little uh, refresher of that? I'm good. Oh, probably, you're good. Be good yeah. True, true. You got to get out of here. Or something. Ah, whatever. Yeah, just. You want a beer? I have lonies in the fridge. No, I'll just maybe take one of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Now. You can little, have, yeah. A little cotton mouth. But. Dude, we did smoke a joint and a couple bowls. We've had a good time. It's been a good pod, dude. Thanks for coming on. I really That's appreciate it. it. Yeah, thank it's you. It's fun hanging me. out. Of thank course, you. dude. What is this that we're watching? So, we're you guys, Tony is curating. We have a thing that we both save things to, and he's going to pull stuff off of that. So, I'm just letting you guys know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what we're going to see. Tony's going to pull some things. None of this is prepared. Me and Kyle are going to give you the real reaction to this. What is this? My girl was controlled by an angry Karen or confronted by an angry Karen in the parking lot. This yeah. is what happened. Karen culture is Karen culture. Prevalent. Hang on. Before yeah. we do this, have yeah. you ever had a Karen at the truck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What's, the mo what's the most, like, Karen thing that somebody's like, can you guys take the fat off the brisket? Or, like, oh, yeah, they asked for that. They asked for that? Lady's freaking out, yelling at you that it's uh, medium rare because it has pink in it. You know, like, at a barbecue place. You know, there's a smoke ring, and they're like, 
the and smoke it's not ring cooked all the way. Oh it's my goodness! Like, Damn. I don't even know. Uh, it's... You're gonna like this one. This is a Karen getting justice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! You can turn that down. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, will you pull that? Will you pull the slider down, Tony, on the Bluetooth? Just a little bit. So wait, what just you gotta break this down for me like John Madden, dude. What just happened? So <laughs> she threw something at the door and then runs away and then gets and then yeah. smashes her, her face. Just fucking yeah, eat shit on her way out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn today. <laughs> Dude, try to freeze it right when her face hits the hits the ground. All Let's right. see this. How bad did she hit her head? <laughs> oh, oh, she braced herself. She, okay. she hit their stomach first, and then oh oh, oh there was, was a face. Her leg looked pretty twisted. <laughs> like, oh, worried about there we go. Damn, Damn, dude. We need to organize these better someday. Like have like a Karen file. Yeah, that'd be great. Like we should do that because we have been saving a lot of things. We've been working hard behind the scenes here at the podcast you guys we've been trying to find fun stuff you know barbecue is a pretty rough job here go up real quick barbecue is a pretty rough dirty kind of gritty job you know out there in the pits pretty greasy what about this guy here working this job look at this uh, could you imagine that bro oh, fuck no. what is he how is he so okay with this not me God. Oh, dude <laughs> You don't even care. <laughs> Used to, I guess. Bro, he doesn't give a fuck. Where is this if you had to say, right? If you had to guess where this is. I don't even know. <laughs> it says that man better be making three fifty an hour. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Holy damn. shit. Fuck. That is so gnarly. He doesn't give a shit. Have you seen this five D movie theater thing? Would you ever go in one of these? We're just getting random videos here right yeah, now. Yeah, man, I like that kind of stuff. I mean, shit. no, but look at this. This is wild, bro. I haven't seen that. No. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. I'm the shit out of you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Could you imagine being on mushrooms? Could you imagine being on fucking acid in the in the five D movie theater when the building catches on fire and you're I like, you, that shit's scary, yeah." Holy shit, that is crazy. No nah, man, Did you see scary? that and like I've, I've done rides, I guess like <laughs> where you your brain sees you know you're going down and falling and you're like, yeah, you, you, like the the you, you yeah. feel it. So like you that, like when you're in the thing and it yeah, like moves like, to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's like, dude. Do you okay that? Hang on, pause this. That thing was like that. Yeah, I'm good on that. That's all you. I'm. I'm gonna set it over here. Um, that uh, that 5D movie theater. It's like, do we, do we fucking just need too much now to be interest to be entertained? Like, yes. is 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 that's that is too much? Like, can. Okay, like 3D movies pretty cool, I guess, and like the new CGI is pretty great. But can you make me feel like the fucking room is actually on fire? Five. Can you make me feel like the room is actually on fire because because it's just not I have TikTok and my brain doesn't work properly anymore. So I I need more to be entertained. So if you could make this movie look like the entire room is actually on fire. My life is in danger. That would be an entertaining for me. What the fuck? You just need to feel a mortal danger to like yeah. give a shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to feel something. To give a shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just to. Like, why am I even here at this theater? Like, I'm so bored. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be awesome if like the room was on fire or something. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. dude, holy shit. Like, you really, do we need that? Can we just have fucking like Terminator 2? Oof. You know what I mean, like like the the classics. Yeah, started, yeah. Dude, what is what? Here, here, we'll we'll do another. We'll do this this bit. So you're not gonna believe me, but I I have a lot of movies that I haven't seen. Like I just watched Home Alone one and two for like the first time. Really, I had seen like the middle of Home Alone once, but like I never for sure never saw number two. But I just watched both of them recently for the first time, <laughs> and I was like, Trump? 
Dude, these movies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, it's down the hall. The, <laughs> the the bathroom's down the hall, Macaulay. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's funny. But uh, oh. did you uh, do you have any movie recommendations that I probably haven't seen? Because if it's a classic movie up. that everyone's like, you haven't seen it. People get mad at me when they're like, you haven't seen that. I mean, dude, there's a lot of movies to watch. So it's like, how do you This watch? time on, you haven't seen that? It's not enough time to watch like every movie from the '90s for you. Like, I mean, I no, like, there's time. Dude. I mean, there's time now, but it's like you, I, I like them. I, I don't blame you for not having seen every movie. I mean, I've never watched Die Hard. Well, like it's Christmas season, so you I know. know you so know, I gotta watch Die Hard. Hard. Yeah. Um, shit. Any other Christmas? Are you a movie guy? Yeah, I like movies. Uh, okay. I, I just, What's some of your favorite ones? You think off top? I'm trying to think, man. It's hard to think and. I rewatch them a lot because I. It's That's all right. You can tell me off. Sometimes the air. I don't. Even I don't want to put you on the spot. You'll tell. Yeah, you can tell at, me. I'm, I'm as soon as we spot, turn, I, as soon as we turn the cameras off, you're gonna be like, bro. Oh, I remember. You gotta watch this one. All this. All right. Let's. What is the, this? Why did you stop going to Sixth Street? What is this? This is a pretty fun uh, interaction on Sixth Street. Okay. Here in Austin. Yeah. Here okay. In Austin. Sweet. Local videos here. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> exactly, that was my question, dude. How does wait, that happen? Wait, wait, you gotta hear it. Hold on, let's start over. <laughs> How the fuck this you can't park there, bro. <laughs> you can't park there, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> I fucking love that, dude. What a troll. Damn. You can't park there, dude. Damn it, dude. Wait a minute. How the fuck? Do you? That's actually. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed with how he flipped that car. How do you flip your car on Sixth Street? Damn, oh, no, dude. D that almost looks like a bit like a movie set. Like somebody put it there for the viral video or something. Like I feel like Sixth Street is like Hollywood for us. You always see some crazy shit. Like, like it's a set. Well, <laughs> everybody has these like really high definition cameras now. So these yeah. these like. <laughs> Six Street fights are pretty amazing, like in HD now. I don't know if you've seen that stuff. It's uh, like, it's like, have you seen the girl rolling around in shit on uh, Sixth Street? Oh, in the, on the, horse, in the shit. horse shit? Yeah. There was a girl here in Sixth Street that was rolling around in horse shit. It was saw that. really sad. We're not going to show that. No, that it's was... been showed. Let's see what else we got, Tony. Let's watch a couple more of these and we'll get this man out of here. Let's see what else we got. Thanks again for coming on, brother. No problem, man. Thank Cheers, you. man. Absolutely. Oh, you still got a little left. A little in there. sip here. Yeah, hopefully you uh if you had fun, we'll come come back and do this. I wanna have people back every like six months a year and just oh, catch yeah, up. Man. I mean dude You no. never know what's gonna be going on. I live right down the street too, so Are you guys uh hell yeah. We just need to hang more too, yeah, bro. True, true. I'm always down to hang. Um, have do you guys have any like dreams or goals as far as like uh like doing a brick and mortar thing someday or like is that not a I you're mean, just trying to get, get get by or it's, like what do you i don't know man it's just hard to imagine in uh in austin texas like as far right as rent and here, the, i just talked to someone today saying like people are paying 30 grand a month you know, you know, for uh, a brick and mortar yeah oh my god our plan i think next year uh that's in the works is we're trying to move into uh like a mixed use bar with like yeah, more like a big area like so stage cool. and uh it's in the works, so uh, it's nice. downtown. It's on Cesar Chavez. Um, so, you know, love that, that. That's what we're planning Fuck on doing yeah. uh, in in the spring or or so. So, hopefully, that'll be a good move, and we can, you know, I don't want to watch this one. <laughs> Not that one. No. no. Yeah, but <laughs> hopefully, it, hopefully, it'll be a good. Yeah, that'll be awesome. How it over? So you're talking C Cesar Chavez near like where like Pegasus Bar and shit is, or like a little. Uh, Further, uh, a little closer to downtown, like uh, Chalmers, like okay, uh, where cool. that Shell Station was. And mm -hmm. you'll notice that's gone now. And they bought like that, and then like a junkyard behind it. So they bought like the whole block pretty much, and they're doing a doing a spot there. So nice, hell yeah. Uh, that one. Oh yeah. Dad, yeah, this is crazy, dude. Sorry. So. <laughs> what the fuck? We were again. We were talking about like people needing too much right like to be entertained don't play the music don't play the music it'll uh it'll get get us fucking copyrighted or whatever this is too much dude this is art kyle what are they do? Are they, kyle oh they have little tubes to breathe through in there like okay like 
Kyle, you're you're just you're just so not well rounded with art. Okay, oh this is art, Kyle. I'm worried about these people. <laughs> <laughs> are they? Oh, do they have air holes? Yeah. Do they have? I don't know. Do I they? see some tubes. Yeah, so there are tubes, are but it, these people for people that are listening to the podcast, they're vacuum sealed in. They're like outside in like a fucking art show. And they're vacuum sealed. And what would you call that? It almost looks like stage scrims for a band. Like that's like has the stage banners on each side, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like with PVC pipe and shit. But it's like plastic cellophane wrap. And there's humans that are like in there in poses in this plastic wrap. The next bystander show, you should come out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Saw five of you like that. Just come, dude. Wheel it out. And they have, guys. they do, that is what those are little air tubes, huh? Damn. The artist is a crazy guy. He'd be like, it would be so much better without the air tubes. I wish that we could just kill them and have their corpses inside of the plastic. It would be so much better without the air tubes. But ah, I do what I have to do. Look at that. It's exactly. He was like, he's, you know, you see how like it's like almost perfect, but the, that goddamn air tube, it would drive him nuts. The artist yeah. be like, if I could just get the rid of the air tubes. It looks good on that one, but yeah, because he looks like he's holding it like, it's so weird. People need too much for entertainment, Kyle. What the fuck is? You know that? what I mean? Can't we go back to the good old days of fucking Juggalo movies and fucking <laughs> <laughs> hustlers and rustlers, dude? Can we go back to? The, can we go back to two thousand? 11 we can. you know what i mean yeah. whenever, whenever that fucking movie came out hell yeah dude yeah. well uh well shit dude do you want to wrap this up we can fucking hang out for a little bit and yeah sure um thank you for coming on the podcast kyle thank cheers you. water we can do a water cheers i got yeah. some beer left I mean, thanks for thanks for coming on the podcast let people know where to find you on like instagram and stuff like that and anything you got going on in the works yeah the instagram's rolling smoke atx bbq um pretty much find everything we got going on in the works there uh holiday orders holiday orders uh get the, your holiday food on from rolling smoke let them do the cooking right yeah dm us about the uh infused dinner if you guys want to go oh, to lockhart hell yeah and, dude uh, and do some of that where where's the, what's the info on that where's that gonna be it's gonna be in lockhart so it's gonna be you know out there so uh -huh. uh, it's gonna be about 30 uh, we're still about 30 tickets, and you guys so. so they dm you guys to get the address and stuff and the in for the tickets or whatever yeah, are you guys gonna do by tickets? then by the time this comes out we'll have like an event bright and everything like that I think. okay so uh, cool but yeah, yeah this will be a, it'll be this will be out event, in two only weeks super limited like 30 people so hell yeah if it's not sold out uh you know yeah come through yeah. if it's not sold out grab a ticket eat it rolling smoke support kyle he's the man and uh thank you again for coming on brother i appreciate thanks you thanks for having me man. yeah run it all right man.